Hello viewers and welcome to my new video. In today's video I'm going to be talking to you about how to play expressively on the guitar. Uh, so basically this is something that I've observed and also uh, maybe I myself have been sort of applying uh, over the years in terms of uh, my playing techniques. So let me just get to that. So effectively uh, I've seen some players who sort of, you know, on the face of it, they play correct notes and everything appears to be fine. Uh, but actually, uh, when, you, when you actually um, look at what they're doing and how they're playing it, it actually sounds very uh, kind of stiff, um, for, for lack of a better word. Uh, it's, it's kind of, you know, I don't know, stiff, wooden, um, not, not very fluid. Uh, in terms of how they play and then i've seen some other players uh, on the other hand who are very good and sort of like very expressive at what they do with their guitars and of course probably you all uh, admire all these uh, players from the from the second category in today's video uh, i wanted to demonstrate to you what i actually mean and actually and also uh, you, you could actually treat this as a, as a lesson uh, but it's not your kind of standard guitar lesson where you we might be thinking you know oh you know, I'm just gonna, you know, to show you what to actually do in terms of like, I don't know, use a vibrato or use this kind of a slide or this technique or that technique, you know, in terms of the actual, uh, what you actually do, uh, you know, with your fingers on the fretboard. Uh, but it's more something that is maybe not as definable, uh, but I think it's equally as important. And I think if you apply this in your, in your playing, and I think that uh, your playing will become better, uh, more interesting, more fluid overall, okay? So what I've got in mind is uh, something that, you know, when, when, you, actually, when you actually play a, a note or play a series of notes or a melody on all chords, even on the guitar, it's about the state in which you are. So effectively, in order to play with emotion, any type of emotion that you want to kind of convey uh, to your listeners, to your audience, you've got to feel that emotion. It's almost like you become that emotion. You become the, the, the music. Uh, you kind of become one uh, with your instrument, you know, and, 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 and through that, uh, that expression kind of comes out of, of whatever you're doing and whatever notes you are playing actually, you know, on the guitar. Uh, and I think that's really important. It's not just about, okay, doing a bit of a vibrato, vibrato here, there or, or wherever, but it's actually about uh, being, being able to feel the entire music sort of almost coming through you and then channeling that into your instrument you know and, and and sort of having that expression you know so you don't just so just to give you an example you know i've seen those, some of those people like i said st so standing there they're just playing a note with sort of like ex, ex motionless sort of expression on their faces you know i'm not moving about but it's not just about moving about it's, it's about that seeing in that person that they are actually enjoying what they're doing they, they there's that emotion kind of coming out from them and i think that goes for any any uh musician not just a guitarist uh or you know any musician or a singer really okay so let me get to it so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to demonstrate how this actually works uh based on a, a, a song from my uh, recently released album the song is called me and at the end of that uh, song i play a quite a long solo guitar solo uh, so I'm going to um, try and demonstrate to you the ca category number one, which is kind of um, qu quite stiff way of playing. And I'm just going to play the, I'm, I'm still going to play the correct note, but I'm just going to show you what it sounds like when I just play the notes without um, being emotionally engaged in, in, in what I'm actually doing. Okay, uh, so let's do that first.
so that was version number one um i'm sure you can hear um uh, how kind of flat that was and how flat even though uh, i have uh, the the actual uh, you know delay and gauge with that and the reverb and this that guitar is quite you know this this quite a lot of effects going on at the same time okay so now i'm going to play you the version in which i actually go, go for it and what i mean by that i actually invest and convey my emotion through my playing um so just 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 uh listen to the difference So this is version number two. Uh, so hopefully you can hear the difference. Um, and obviously, like I say, I really went for it this time. And this is kind of how I normally tend to play. I, I invest. I, I actually you know any song I write or play. Uh, I just I just love music. So I basically convey all these emotions through the music, whatever those emotions might be. Uh, and I and I love playing expressively. Uh, but I think if you, if you kind of take that advice on board. Uh, and if you don't, if you're not doing that already, uh, I think that your playing will become much better. Uh, so please let me know in the comments uh, whether whether you hear the difference uh, and what your own observations and experiences uh, may be uh, with this with this type of playing and how you yourself apply expressive type of playing to your to your guitar. Uh, and as always, uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and click that bell so that you get, that way you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.